Previously on Historical Geocaching, my family and I are visiting Chickamauga Battlefield, the second most bloody battle of the entire Civil War, and America's first national military park. Through the cannons and monuments, we've started learning about the various movements of the battle and a veteran's dedication to remember the comrades. Tour Stop 3, Mix-Up in the Union Command, an unwise order created a perilous gap in the Union line. Shortly before 11 a.m. on September 20, Major General William S. Rosecrans, the Union Commander, received an erroneous report that Brigadier General John M. Brannon's division was out of position, which would have created a gap in the Union battle line. In fact, Brannon's men were concealed in the woods behind you, right where they should have been. Brandon's line is marked along this road today by monuments and cannon. In a move to close this supposed gap, Rosecrans dispatched an order to Brigadier General Thomas J. Wood to move to the left to support Major General Joseph J. Reynolds. Wood, who had been harshly reprimanded earlier that day for failing to obey orders promptly, did as he was commanded. The departure of Wood's division opened a real gap in the Union battle line about one-fourth mile south of here to your right. Meanwhile, Confederate Lieutenant General James Longstreet prepared a massive attack that would hit the Union line at that vulnerable point. So here we are at the um, tour stop number four of Chickamauga Battlefield, a uh, lo driving loop at the um, Brotherton Cabin. Let's go explore it. Confederate Breakthrough, a sledgehammer-like Confederate attack smashed the Union line. The decisive event of the Battle of Chickamauga occurred here on September 20, the second day of the battle. At 11.10 a.m., just after the last of General Wood's Union Division had pulled out of the line behind you, and before other Federal units could move north to fill the gap, the Confederate Army struck. Eight brigades, about 11,000 men, of Longstreet's Confederate left wing swept across the Lafayette Road in front of you and charged a thin line of Federal skirmishers just behind you at the edge of the woods. The attack surprised the Federal divisions of Wood, Davis, and Sheridan, who were in motion and unprepared to fight. So overwhelming was the assault that nearly one-third of the Union Army was driven from the field, including its commander, General Rosecrans. Remnants of the shattered Federal units tried to check the Confederate advance, but without success. The Confederates now had an opportunity to surround and destroy the Union Army. 